All right, we're back with the Urethane Mega Shootout. Hopefully you saw our complete review of the Purple Hammer on its own, as well as the Roto-Grip Rubicon UC3 and the Motive Purple Tank by now. If not, definitely check them out. But let's jump into why we're here to compare a few important balls for their respective brands in the, quote, urethane space. All right, I, sh I start straight away with the more direct trajectory and and right away without any further evaluation this shows you that the purple hammer is probably the weakest of the three balls from about seven eight the purple hammer strikes but on the lighter switch side uh the rubicon uc3 had no chance to hold the purple tank also went high but uh closer to the pocket than the uc3 now i move three more boards so going about nine through twelve uh through the fronts with the purple hammer, I'm in the pocket for four shots, but all different entries, uh, you know, flat, high, swisher, etc. Um, so it just felt like it was going to like a little more direct shots than where I'm at. And, and the truth is, I'm, I am trying to a couple different breakpoints intentionally, but it was a little in between, I would say, in a way. Next, I move to the Rubicon, and I do the same. Um, early friction is half pocket in the track it's high move the break point to touch in and it's strong enough to drive then the motive purple tank and it looked like it was at home here um, so basically I felt like the purple hammer wasn't quite strong enough to deal with bumping the edge of the friction the UC3 felt a bit too strong so it had to be manipulated a different way to hold and the smoothness and strength of the purple tank meant this was the right zone for this ball all right, so I move another three boards to check out the next zone. And while I was starting to think, you know, the Purple Hammer is on the weaker side, um, it didn't really have an issue responding from that 13 to 14 zone at the arrows. The, the shape to the pocket looked good. If I got it to the friction a little too early, it overhooked. So I would say it's not as weak as I initially uh, was thinking. Um, onto the Rubicon UC3, and the Roto Grip ball looks big here. This zone really allows the core to shine. It really gets a little more length, but that core turns over harder. Um, it almost doesn't look urethane, but clearly starting to noticeably separate from the purple hammer. The purple tank looked smooth and probably the most noticeably urethane-like due to the solid cover and smooth motion down lane. Not weak, just smooth. So at this point in the test, I go back to the purple hammer and back to the left to see how the lanes are transitioning. And around 10 felt a little light, so I moved a little further left. The frozen rope, it's just fun to crush the pocket on that, obviously that, that's a miss in. Um, you would think it doesn't tell you anything, but it definitely does. Um, the fact that a shot like that will hold from there uh, holds well if you can find the pocket in your normal shot. Um, a really good shot leaves a six spin. Now I try to push into the friction, and you can see that the shot has softened up. So I shimmed everything parallel to the right, and there the shot reappeared. I moved around a bit, but a nice shot had developed with the break point further in. I, I no longer wanted to use that outside friction because it was kind of gone anyway. Onto the UC3, and in the same area, the pocket looks wide open but left two out of three seven pins. It just felt like the UC3 is a good amount of ball, but it's like the other urethane ball had softened the shot up a bit too much. Then finally, the uh, Motive Purple Tank, and, and even while it looks like it's still reading the fronts, it, it really couldn't drive at all. Um, it looked like the shot was messed up at this point, and the Purple Tank sim simply doesn't have the right balance in terms of you know, front read to back end movement. One last shot with the purple hammer shows that it offers a better balance and can deal with the effects it has on the pattern a bit better than you would think. At the end of the day, I can tell you that the purple tank and the purple hammer are closer to true urethane, or at least the modern incarnation of urethane, than the Rubicon UC3. Uh, the UC3 really appears to be something quite different. Um, the purple tank comes off as a good modern version of a solid urethane ball. The purple hammer seems to be a really good version of what urethane can do in modern conditions. And the Rubicon UC3 is the 
I am better than your thing, but will kind of call myself that for a craze ball. Um, it provides the read of a polyurethane, but the back end closer to reactive while still being considered smooth. If I'm totally honest, the Rubicon UC3 is probably closer to, say, the Motive Venom Shock than the Motive Purple Tank. I know I haven't done this too much, but I will give a ranking here. From a one-handed perspective, I'm going to say for back end, the UC3 is number one. The Purple Hammer comes in second, and finally the Motive Purple Tank. For strength, number one is going to be the Rubicon UC3 as well. Number two is the Purple Tank, and number three is the Purple Hammer. For overall rating, my personal favorite ball here is going to be the Rubicon UC3, with the Purple Hammer coming in second, and the Motive Purple Tank coming in third.